Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jenkins tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add parameters to your scripts within Jenkins. So Jenkins provides the parameterization functionality, which is very, very handy and helpful. And the real scenario that I'll take is in our test automation scripts, we have seen in the framework section that we can choose or we can pass the browser through the command line, whether whether we want to run our test cases in the Chrome or Firefox, etc. And then accordingly, the scripts get executed on that particular browser. OK, so we have written that logic in the script. It's already available in the test framework section and now within Jenkins we want to parameterize and we should be able to add parameters so first let's understand how you can add parameters understand the different type of parameters and then we will implement the parameters for the actual test automation script okay so here if you see this we had set the parameters basically or the variables in the script itself now if I have to create a directory with some other name I have to come back and change this here which is not a good approach right so to parameterize these directory and the output file in this script which is a good idea because we do not want to keep changing the directory and output file here we should have the ability to change these when we run the script right so we just go up a little bit you'll see that this project is parameterized okay check that and click on add parameter you'll have lot many options here but we'll be mostly using choice parameter and boolean parameter and string parameter right so you there are many other but we'll cover those in the later sections so let's quickly go ahead and understand the string parameter so string parameter as the name suggests we can specify a parameter name okay and the default value so in this particular case say for example I want the directory I'll say output directory as the name for specifying the output directory or the directory that needs to be created in the folder okay so for the default value I will simply say RCV Academy okay that will be the default value of the folder that gets created then I have to add another string parameter for the file or the output file right so click on add parameter again and click on string parameter to add another parameter okay so I will say output file as the name and for the default value I will simply say RCV Academy output okay as the file name or the default value that will be taken if you do not provide any of the default value there okay so this is just for the demo purpose okay so simply apply so now we have defined these two string parameters now we can use these parameters into our script so now here if you'll see we are setting the directory name directly here okay now because we have defined these parameters so we can take the directory name and the file name from the parameters itself right so we do not need these two lines anymore okay so instead of taking Taking this directory by setting it within the script itself now I can take it as the parameter so what is the name of the parameter output hyphen directory okay so to access that parameter in the Windows batch command the format will be percentage output directory whatever the name of the parameter is and the percentage right similar way as it works in the batch command if it is a shell then or unix based then it's dollar and the parameter name okay so and in the output file right this is the string parameter output file name i'll simply copy it and it is the same name so that's fine and that should be it right so now once you will apply and save it these the directory and the output file will not be need to be hard coded within the batch commands itself it can be taken from the parameters right so now we have the flexibility to basically provide our default value during execution or use the default value okay so save it and then you will see that you will you have this build with parameters or build has changed to build with parameters okay so if I click on build with parameters then you will see output directory option is given okay because there is a string parameter I can change the value here and output file default value is there as well okay if you do not want to change we'll simply run it we'll click on build and let the build finish so it has finished and let's go to the console output and you will see that it has taken the value rcv academy and rcv academy output.txt right so these two the directory rcv academy has been created and rcv academy.txt file contains the output of that particular directory right so this is how you can parameterize the jenkins job okay let's go ahead and understand a little bit more about different parameters so 
we'll go to the configure and here so the real scenario what what we'll be using is so now when when i talk about executing the test cases on different browsers right so we will be executing the test case on chrome or firefox or edge depending on where your application is supported or how many browsers your application is supported so to have a choice parameter or the list parameter okay what we can do is we can simply select the parameter okay and i'm just showing you the choice parameter so you select the choice parameter and say for example you want to execute your test case on different browsers so you just select the name of the the provide the name of the parameter right and here we will say chrome firefox the values and edge say safari right so these are the values that my application is supported on okay or the browsers that my application is supported on so i'll provide these parameters and then within the script or within the execution command i will pass on these choices when the execution needs to happen okay so for just for example i'll just append one line here okay so i'll simply say echo so echo is to output the the details on uh, say for example there is a variable in uh, the command prompt right so say for example there is there is a path right so i can simply if the variable has been set right so here first name has been set to my name if i say echo, echo it will output the value that is stored in that particular variable okay so say for example i want to output the value that is stored in a particular variable so i will simply echo the the choice or the the value that I will select in this particular choices okay so what I'll do is here I'll simply say echo and say browser okay so in this case now what will happen is when I'll apply and execute let's build with parameter you will see the choice parameter is there as well or the list parameter with the list of the options that we have provided there is available as well okay so if I'll select Chrome then in that case here let me change it to one and click on build so it has successfully finished let's go to output and you will see that it has printed chrome right so this is basically what logic will be utilizing to execute our scripts on different browsers using jenkins job right so i'm just explaining this that to choose the browser and the url combination from the jenkins job this is what we'll be using we'll be using list parameterization okay and if i the project again right and click on build with parameters so this is something that we'll be getting so we'll choose the browser say for example i want to execute our, our test cases on the firefox i'll choose the browser from the list parameter that will define and then click on build there'll be another parameter for the url we'll select the url depending on where which test environment you want to execute and click on build and then on build and it should run the test cases on that particular selected browser right so it has finished we'll go to console output and this time it, it will echo the firefox right you will see that how that parameter that we have defined here in the configuration the list parameter is basically being displayed as an output depending on the choice parameter depending on the choice that we are choosing for the browser right because this browser name is the the list parameter that we have the choice parameter basically or the list parameter and these are the choices that we have specified right so this will be the real scenario that we'll be covering in upcoming tutorials but we need to understand the basics and fundamentals of jenkins and that is why i am covering detail so that you can understand the parameterization different types of it and how we'll be using it in the actual scripts so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching